Hello guys, this is Lighthouse Foodie. I am with Twara Mehta, influencer and entrepreneur. Hi guys, today we are going to help you with star tips for food blogging and we really hope they help you. So, you will take yeah. the first Let's one. Let's begin with number 5. Okay. Number 5. So, uh, don't write fake reviews. I have seen a lot of influencers in Delhi and Ahmedabad write fake reviews for free food or money or whatever reasons they are. I know it's tough when you start out, you don't get invites and it's hard to start food blogging but actually it will hurt you in the long run because your followers will see through it. Correct. I definitely think it's very important. And uh, the point uh, 4 is um, take care of your health because uh, you are likely to eat a lot of food and that's going to make you unhealthy. So um, try and eat uh, healthy food once in a while and also blog about uh, nutritious food. So for example, if you have back-to-back -back meats every day, then once in a while uh, make something nice at home and blog about that as well. Uh, on number 3 we have content is king. Uh, so content wherever you blog, whether you post photos on Instagram or you make videos on YouTube, you need to spend the most amount of time of your blogging on content because more than the number of followers you have, your uh, blog will be judged by the kind of content you create. So I think it is one of the key areas. I have seen a lot of bloggers that just take out their phone and click a photo and don't fo focus that much on the content part. And number two? Uh, number two is uh, be a part of a community because you cannot be a blogger without being a part of your community. So uh, do meet up, interact with other bloggers, uh, local bloggers or any other bloggers who you are friends with on Instagram or on Facebook and uh, also interact with your followers as much as you can because that's also really important. So answer to their queries, talk to them, uh, reply to their comments if they are asking a question related to blogging. Number one and uh, this is the most important, be authentic with your blog. So if you love street food then post about street food. Don't get into peer pressure. If other bloggers like it and you don't like it, then say the truth. And I've seen a lot of people get into the community form of thinking and write whatever else is writing and don't really differentiate uh, themselves. And I think being authentic is one of the most important things and uh, hope, uh, hopefully these tips will help you with your food blogging journey. And we are done with the tips. Make sure uh, you follow Tuara on our Instagram, follow our blogging journey, and don't forget to subscribe.